known as Noble Strength and welcome to my channel. And as you can see by the title below, you are tuned in for Iconic Style Fun with Fashion. This is a series that I started a while back, but I haven't done one in a while. This is long overdue. And today we're gonna to be featuring someone that I truly admire. I think she's the quintessential fashionista and that is Tracy Ellis Ross. Yay! Let's give a shout out for her. I love her. I've been loving her since, you know, the series Girlfriends. I absolutely loved Joan on that show, that character. I loved her style and I love her style outside of acting as well. So we're going to focus on her style outside of her television characters. And what I love about Tracy's style is that she's bold, she's classy, she's a risk taker, she's fashion forward. She is just, like I said, the epitome of a style icon to me. And what I learned about myself in, you know, looking through my closet and trying to get ready to style some things that are kind of close to her image is that it was really, really hard, and that's why it's taken me so long to do her in my series, though I've been wanting to do her for a while. That is because I found that I live in a box, guys, when it comes to fashion. I am so traditional, so uh, classic in the pieces that I choose, and I don't have a lot of those elements of risk-taking that she has in her style that she's incorporated into her style and so it was really hard for me to find looks that i could recreate so i'm not giving you the wow factor of tracy ellis ross today i'm just giving you what i can style based on the things that i already have in my closet and i might go out to the thrift stores and look and try to find some of those pieces that I think would really showcase um, that part of her that is fashion forward. I'm showing you on the split screen some of her boldness when it comes to choosing colors and pairing colors together. She's not one that has to be matchy-matchy and all coordinated. She puts things together that I wouldn't even think of putting together. And I think that has a lot to do with her growing up in the entertainment industry and having that fashion background because she did start out in modeling. And so I think all of that factors in, of course, having a mom who's a style icon, Diana Ross, plays a big part in it too. I think it just comes natural for her. For me, it's going to be something that I have to kind of learn and build on if I wanna be more of a risk taker. And I cannot not talk about her hair, guys. Hair is a big part of fashion and I absolutely love her hair. I like that Tracy can rock a high bun. She can rock a sleek back ponytail. She can rock the big curls. She can rock her natural curls or blown out curls. I mean, all of her looks are just amazing and I love her and I love her just like personality as well. So like I say, without further ado, let's jump over to the clothing rack. Now here is the fun part. I'm going to talk about some of my thought processes to picking what I'm going to try and recreate today. So as I said earlier, I learned a lot about myself in trying to recreate some of the looks of Tracy Ellis Ross. I've learned that I need to be more of a risk taker. I need to learn to be a little bit more bolder about my color combinations and not be so in a box about wanting everything to be matchy matchy and so coordinated. And the whole objective of this series is to work with what you already have in your closet and not spend money and to also draw inspiration from those who have a really good sense of style. So that is what we're shooting for and these are the looks that I chose. Look number one, I'm going to try and recreate this street urban chic look that Tracy is rocking here with her all black ensemble. Now this one was somewhat easy for me to recreate because I own a lot of black and so I'm going to put together this thrifted faux leather biker jacket with this little striped sweater that I have to try to play off of what she's wearing in her looks. I would have never thought to match this together with a cropped pants and some 
um, combat boots or hiker boots. That's just not a look that I would have gone for. But yeah, we're going to try it out. I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. So for look number two, I went with this look that she's rocking. I love that bright red pencil skirt. You know, red's one of my favorite colors. But I love how she paired it with this soft kind of pastel aqua green. I just think that's feminine. And I like that she paired it with a kind of nude colored shoe. Since I did not have those colors, I'm going with something that I would not have normally rocked with it, and that is this kind of bold, like, turquoise color turtleneck, and we'll see how that works. But next look that I'm going to try and recreate is the look that she's rocking here, and that is a very laid-back, casual look. She has a black duster with a white teddy and a wide leg denim pant with some pumps. Really, really cool. So I'm going to try to recreate that look with some simple wide leg pants and this kind of neutral colored mock neck top with this H&M black cardigan, long cardigan. Now the last and final look, this is my favorite look out of all the looks that I've chosen today. I have not put it together yet or worn it, so I don't know if it's gonna be a hit or miss. I mean, it's one of my favorite looks that she pulled off and that is this printed high neck long sleeve dress very feminine and flowy but she paired it with jeans i don't know if you can see at the bottom but her little jeans are peeking out from underneath and she has on some pumps and the pumps are not matchy matchy with her belt either so that's what i mean about stepping outside of the box and being fashion forward and edgy which is what we're going to try to do today and you guys Create a dialogue. Let me know in the comments below what are the hits, what are the misses, and yeah, I just want to hear from you. I love this type of thing. So without further ado, let's get into the modeling segment of this video. So for look number one, I tried to capture the essence of her style by pairing this vintage paisley print dress with a pair of denim jeans and some Michael Kors booties and a gold vintage belt with a paisley buckle. I think I kind of got the overall look. Now this is something that you need confidence to wear and I guess I could say that about all of the looks that I'm going to rock today. These are definitely outside of my comfort zone but it's definitely fun to style. So for this look I'm pairing this Ann Taylor Loft faux leather jacket with a pair of H&M high waisted pants and some Gianni Beanie hiker boots with fur and this is a coach hobo cargo style bag and yes I am rocking the Minnie Mouse buns. To try and recreate this look I paired an H&M black duster cardigan with some gap white leg denim pants and I'm wearing some Sam Edelman pumps and carrying a lamb bag. I am loving this look. It's comfortable, it's chic and I have a new hairstyle I can rock. I really like this look. So here is the last look that I'm recreating and once again I like this look. This is definitely more my style. I feel very comfortable in this and I like the bright vivid colors that I typically probably would not have paired together. So those are my recreations. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Well thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was so much fun. I love Tracy Ellis Ross, so I might have to revisit her again. Let me know in the comments below who you'd like for me to try and recreate some of their styles. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.